Ladies and gentlemen, Bertha Warrior here, trusting that you are doing well, trusting that you had a super awesome Sabbath and weekend. So may I ask you, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study the word. This is a must, must, must. And we know it's so late on planet Earth, and the solution is Jesus Christ. And he states, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you're giving me another day to, Father God, to hear the birds, to see the birds, Father God, to just be in nature, Father God. I thank you, Father God. I thank you. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased, Father God. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick review of angels and you but before we go into that let us go into our um our scripture our scripture is coming from exodus 23 verses 20 exodus 23 verses 20 hold on exodus 23 verses 20 and it reads behold I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, we are in the truth about angels. The truth about angels. Okay, so here is the book, The Truth About Angels, and it's by Ellen G. White, Truth About Angels, my sister and brother. Okay, so this is a, a quick review, like I state, and then it state, we, we, we're going with the first part of said, uh, The Truth About Angels, and this is to the reader. So here is the opening point. In every land, people are asking questions such as, if angels actually exist, who are they? Are they the spirit of the dead? Are they friendly or hostile? Can they communicate with us? Okay, and here is point number one. This volume is a priceless resource book. And we're talking about this, this volume. It's a priceless resource book, but it is much more than that. It is a book that lifts the veil between the seen and the unseen world. Okay, so let's go over to point number two. And this is under um, Angels and You. And it says, before the creation of man, angels were in existence. For when the foundation of the earth was laid, the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. And you can find this in Job chapter three, verses seven. Angels are in nature superior to man. For the psalmist say that the man, that man was made a little lower than the angels. And you can find this in Psalms uh, chapter eight, verses five. Okay, point number three. And this is under so for those of you that probably want the in-depth studies, you could either scroll down on my Facebook wall or you can go over to YouTube and you'll find the in-depth lessons there as well. So this is under the number and the power of angels. 10,000 times 10,000s and thousands of thousands were the heavenly messenger beheld by the prophet Daniel. The Apostle Paul declared that an innumerable company, Daniel 7.10, Hebrews 12.22, as God's messenger, they go forth like the appearing of a flash of lightning. And this is coming from Ezekiel chapter 1, verses 14. So dazzling their glory and so swift they flight. Okay, move on over to point number four. Point number four. Angels help God's children. Angels are sent on missions of mercy to the children of God. To Abraham with the promise of blessing. 
to the gate of Sodom to rescue the righteous lot from the fiery doom and to Elijah as he was about to perish from weariness and hunger in the desert, to Elisha with chariots and horses of fire surrounded the little town where he was shut in by his foes, the, to Daniel while seeking divine wisdom in the courts of the heathen king or abandoned to become the lion prey, to Peter doomed to death in Herod's dungeon, to the prisoner of Philippi, to Paul and to his companion in the night of tempest on the sea, to open the minds of Cornelius to receive the gospel, to dispatch Peter with the message of salvation to the Gentile stranger. Thus holy angels have in all ages ministers to God's people. Okay, point number five. This is under Satan and evil angels. Satan and evil angels. S evil spirit in the beginning created sinless were equal in nature, power, and glory with the holy beings that are now God's messenger. This is why as we approach the close of time, when Satan is to work with the greatest power to deceive and destroy, he spreads everywhere the belief that he does not exist. It is his policy to conceal himself in his manner of working. Okay, let's move on over to point number six, and this is Christ's followers are safe. Christ's followers are safe. The power and the malice of Satan and his hosts might justly alarm us were it not that we may find shelter and deliverance in the superior power of our Redeemer. So here is the closing point. The closing point. And it says, and this is coming at the bottom of to the readers. This is the bottom of that. So this was the first part that we discussed. And it states, we believe that this book will be prized by seeker of truth all over the world. That it will help them recognize counterfeit manifestation of spirit. And that in their daily walk with God, it will lead them to seek and enjoy the fellowship of holy angels. So that concludes my review of angels and you. So on tomorrow... Tuesday, we're going to go into, hold on, we're going to go into chapter two of Angels Ministries Today, Angel Ministries Today, so that will be our topic for tomorrow, so may I share with you my devotion, hold on, let me get this together, and I need some water. I'm looking over there. I see all my kittens. I have about mm, eight or ten of them over there. They're all different colors. Maybe one day I should just take a video and show you guys the, the different kittens I have. And they're wonderful. They're very playful, having a good time. I hope, my sister, my brother, that you are having a good day as well. So here is the devotion. More like Christ every day. We all, with open face, beholding in a glass the glory of the Lord, and change into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And this is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18. The last part for prayer. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to continue to take full control. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to continue to use me, Father God. Decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. And I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And so uh, I says, Dear husband, I received a few lines from um, Willie today with the cheering account of your steady improvement in health. For this we have hope and have not ceased our earnest prayer. The Lord has a work for you to do. You must not be discouraged, even if you have days of suffering and pain and weariness. I missed you here so much, but the Lord has not left me alone. Today has been a precious day to us in Oregon. The Spirit of the Lord was manifested 
in a more marked manner in the nine, ninth hour, nine o'clock social uh, testimony meeting. Many humble, good testimonies were bore, and the, and the melting spirit of the Lord rested upon preachers and people. I tried to speak to the people a short time. I told them that it is the privilege of the Christian to come to Jesus in a living faith, being in earnest, claiming the promises of God, not depending upon feelings, but taking God at his word. He is a God of love, of tender compassion, of long bearance, more kind, more beneficent than the kindness earthly parents. While talking faith and presenting Jesus as our strong helper, my heart was broken. The tears flowed freely. I seldom wept. But the melting love of Christ melted my heart and opened the fountains of tears as I presented the great ransom Jesus had made for our souls that we might have pardon, purity, and peace, and a heaven of bliss. God would have his followers useful on earth and honored and glorified in the kingdom of God. We sought to lead the people to reach forward to the things that are before us, seeking earnestly to attain the highest elevation of Christian character. In this, we must rely simply on the merits and the righteousness of our surety. We must have awakened in us a holy jealousy of ourself and cultivate a spirit of vigilant prayer. We want the spirit of earnest, longing desire that Moses had when he prayed. I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And this is coming from Exodus chapter 33, verses 18. At his, at, at, and this petition was not presumptuous. God did not rebuke his servant as being bold and irreverent. The Lord will have us day by day become more like Christ, keeping his words, conforming to his precepts and example, entering more and more deeply every day into the spirit and meaning of God's requirement and gracious promises. In God we trust. Be of good courage in the Lord. Lean heavily upon Jesus, all sustaining arm. And that concludes my devotion, more like Christ every day. And this was a letter um, that Ellen G. White wrote to her husband who was traveling in the Eastern United States. Okay, so more like more like Christ every day. So we need to be more like Christ every day. More like Christ moment by moment because we never know when our day on earth will be our final day. So we have to be able, my sister and brother, to be standing in the holy presence of a holy being. And so that, so in order for us to stand in the presence of a holy being, we ourselves have to be holy people as well. What do I mean? Meaning that once, if we have to have art with our brothers and sister, we need to get it right. So we have to go confess our faults, but we confess our sins only to God because he is the only one that for, can forgive us. But not only that he does he forgive us, but he uh, wipe it just like it had never happened. Yes, we do have to um, have to suffer the consequences, but knowing that God has forgiven us. So we need to continue to standing on the promises of the Lord. So here is my closing hymn, Covered with His Life. Look upon Jesus, sinless is he. Father imputed his life un, uh, unto me. My life a scarlet, my sin and woe. Cover with his life whiter than snow. Cover with his life whiter than snow. Fullness of his life, then shall I know. My life a scarlet, my sin and woe. Cover with his life whiter than snow. Deep are the wounds transgression has made. 
red are the stains my soul is afraid oh to be covered jesus with thee safe from the law that now judgeth me cover with his life whiter than snow fullness of his life then shall i know my life of scarlet my sins and woe cover with his life whiter than snow longing the joy of pardon to know jesus hold out our robe white as snow lord i accept it leaving my own gladly i wear thy pure life alone cover with his life whiter than snow fullness of his life then shall i know my life of scarlet my sin and woe cover with his life whiter than snow here's the last verse reconciled by his death for my sin justified by his life pure and clean sanctified by obeying his word glorified when returneth my lord covered with his life whiter than snow fullness of his life then shall i know my life of scarlet my sin and woe cover with his life whiter than snow let me repeat the fourth verse reconciled by his death for my sin justified by his life pure and clean sanctified by obeying his word glorified when returned my lord covered with his life whiter than snow fullness of his life then shall i know my life of scarlet my sins and woe covered with his life whiter than snow so my sister and brother we have to be covered with his life so when god the father sees us he sees that we are covered with the blood of jesus meaning that we have confessed we have forsaken our sins and we are walking in the character of jesus christ that we have surrendered our life and we are resting in the arms of jesus christ let us bow for prayer father god i thank you for this message today father god some somebody right now father god is hurting that is in pain father god someone here father god is having a relationship issue or having financial issue father god father god we ask you father god that you would answer father god that you have already answered we just have to accept what you have stated father god in your word that anything we have asked father god that you have already provided father god so we thank you father god we'll give you all the praise honor and glory so father god we ask you father god if i have done anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight father god we ask you that you forgive us and make us whiter than snow once you've done that father god we ask you father god to fill us fill us with the love with the power with the peace with the strength to go on from day to day and we forever give you all the praise the honor and glory in jesus name i have prayed amen and amen okay my sister and brother thank you guys so much for stopping by if this was a blessing to you hit the like better button uh make a comment hit the share button follow me over youtube under Burdell warrior while you're there hit the subscribe button uh, thank you so much for going over there and doing that for me hit the subscribe button And then you can also hit the bell notification So when my videos goes up to YouTube, you'll be the first to be notified And then my sister and brother whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, you know, you could give me a, a thumbs up You could get uh, leave a, a Comment and you can also on reach me out on Facebook send me a private message and I'll be more than happy to, uh, to talk to you or to even pray with you. So with that, my sister and brother, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you, love you, love you. I appreciate you. But guess what? Jesus loves you more. He loves you more. So may I have a hug? May I have a hug? So here we go. One, two, three. Thank you so much, my sister and brother, for that hug. I love you, love you, love you. I appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.